What is best value procurement? It's when things are transparent. It's when everybody wins. It's when vendors make more money, but the project cost goes down. We have a buyer and we have a supplier. Who should be an expert in what has to get done, the buyer or the supplier? The supplier. To understand this, just change it around. This way, between the boss and the worker. If the boss has to talk more, what does that tell you about the worker? Got the wrong worker. And this person gets paid more or less when the boss is doing this to him. Less. Why? Because a true expert would never stay there. They would leave. So the only people who put up with this situation are who? The people who are blind. The only risk an expert has is somebody who they don't control trying to tell the expert what to do or stopping them in some way. A true expert has no risk. The buyer and the vendor. Who is the expert? The vendor. So who knows what to do? Who writes the contract? Interesting, isn't it? So we know that we're going to have blind people. The structure we put in place will help the blind people see without changing them. And they will perform much better than they could normally. That structure is best value. Minutes? Thank you very much, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Dus we proberen in deze fase, in de gunningsfase, um, eigenlijk met heel weinig informatie de beste leverancier eruit te filteren. En dat doen we dus, en dat heeft uh, zeg maar die, die duizend keer het doen uh, geleerd, door naast prijs vooral te letten op risicodossier, kansdossier, scope en planning. De interviews zijn eigenlijk de meest dominante criterium om, om te kunnen voorspellen of, nou ja, of die marktpartij in staat is om dat project van A tot Z uh, te doorgronden. En dus de daadwerkelijke wijze waarop nou ja, de mensen in de uitvoering straks nu al in de gaten hebben hoe het project uh, straks gaat werken. Dat is buitengewoon belangrijk. En het idee van die pre-award fase is dat we uh, voordat we gaan starten alles in beeld hebben. Het project echt van A tot Z doorgronden. Uh, weten welke risico's op dat project uh, spelen. En met name de risico's buiten de eigen invloedssfeer en wat hij daaraan gaat doen. <middels>